All right, so we're going to try to make some homemade buttermilk. Yeah. So the first thing that we want to do is um, get a lemon and then kind of like roll it, put a little pressure on it, Oop, do this bit a little bit because you want to get the juices going. A lot of lemons, their skins are thicker and especially if they've been in the fridge, they can be kind of cold and hard. So <clears throat> we want to go ahead and there we go. And your finger didn't come off, so that's <laughs> finger good. didn't come off, no. Right. Not this time. <laughs> That's your lemon juicer right there? Lemon juicer. This little gadget has been a marvel. I mean, it's been wonderful. Um, so <clears throat> in a, a lemon this size is probably roughly two tablespoons. Um, for this recipe in making buttermilk, we're using just one. But I would rather have more than less because we are going to be measuring it in the uh, measuring. That's my philosophy on life. More, more than less. Right. <laughs> Mostly in recipes, you want to do less than more, though. <laughs> yes. But uh, so you can use uh, any you excess in like lemon, lemon water, and exactly. Stuff like that, so, yeah, yeah, that's kind of where I'm going here. Exactly. Awesome. So, <clears throat> isn't okay, that let me, great? Let me look in and see that beautiful lemon juice, freshly squeezed lemon juice. Very nice. Now we're going to put that over there, <clears throat> and then we're going to do a cup of milk. Mm -hmm in our liquid measuring cup. Got it. Tell me when you see it at the eight ounces mark, which you'd also see a cup further left. Almost there, just a well, dash more. Okay. Okay. One cup. So then, put that here. All right. Or here. We've got a tablespoon here. Let me see this. That's nice, they actually read very nicely. Yeah, very good. All right. Measuring. <clears throat> so that's a cup. Oh, I'm sorry, a tablespoon. One tablespoon. And then into a cup of the whole milk. All right. And see, so yeah, that's probably a little bit more than a tablespoon left over. So we'll just set that off to the side. Um, give it a stir, and then just let it sit. So it's supposed to kind of slightly curdle the milk, right? Yeah. So you can actually see. Do you see that? Oh yeah, it's already thickening. Yeah, it's the acid. So the what I was reading online said to we should let it sit in the fridge for about maybe ten minutes. Yeah. To fully activate and become buttermilk. Yeah. So that's kind of cool. Go. Yeah. All right. Easy peasy. Awesome.